Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. We're, today we're going to be doing the cheap goo. So I've gotten it down to like 440 mil, I think it is. Let's just get a start here and then we can go over the fit and everything. Oh, some big stuff right here as well. Straight off the bat, that's nice. So there is a lot of flexibility in the fit as well, depending if you want like more tank or more application and stuff, because there is room for like a web if you drop one of these guidance computers. I just, I really prefer them just because I'm lazy pretty much. Don't be bothered to like switch the web on and off, but if you want to min-max a little bit more, that's always an option. So we're just going to do the same as we did in the, the other site. We've got a shortcut key in my cargo hold here. We're not going to take the drugs just yet, because I really doubt we're going to need them. But yeah, let's uh, give this a try. Seems to be going pretty fine so far. Alright, we'll have a quick look at the fit just as we're killing these guys, just to pass the time. So there's pretty much no pimp or the large cap battery and really that's um, one of the things that are really good on like tech free cruisers in general or just like cruiser size ships because they give so much extra cap. And uh, obviously the resistance for the, well the curse we've just killed so that's really nice. And I believe the cap itself, it's not too bad, it's like halfway up so stable at 50% which is like more than enough for this site I would think. And the cost of the ship is like 434 for absolutely everything there, which is nice. I'll link it in the description. Um, I will apologize for yesterday's bit I linked in the description on the pimp goo. Uh, it was the wrong one, but I've corrected that now. So if you want to go back and check that, it's cool. I did reply to the guy that pointed it out. So I just wanted to say thanks for that. Always uh, nice to correct some upload mistakes. I was in a real hurry, like trying to get to work yesterday. All right, let's jump through this gate. I've lined myself up there very nicely though. May bounce off it, yeah. Yeah, so small trap beam one, that's just to keep the CPU down. Uh, heavy missile launcher twos, large shield booster two, more than enough. I really think you could get away with a medium if you wanted to. Um, afterburner, cap battery we just discussed. The AM shield hardener, since that's pretty much most of the damage we're going to be taking, AM and Therm. A shield boost amp, just a meta one. These nerds locked up real quick, if you can't. Should just orbit the beacon right here. I'll do have to burn her on. I'll start shooting stuff. It doesn't seem to be too bad. Actually, we'll see how it is against these smaller things. Bear in mind, we're all just using rage ammo, so we could switch for the on the warp in here for some like Kaldari Navy, but it seems to be doing pretty well there. Let's crack on. So a couple of flex slots, I would call them here, as like missile guidance computers. They're pretty good if you've got like shorter range as well, because you can throw the like the range extender scripts on so you can get like a, a much bigger range because we're only doing like 21k which is pretty short for harms right but you could put two webs there i'm not sure what would be better i think like either or i think in ideally one of these and one web would be good but again if you're just lazy like me and you just like click on f1 or just one button that's fine we're not going too hard on this uh cheap fit uh three ballistic control systems in the laws we've only got three low slots this time in the rigs, we've got an AM shield reinforcer just to keep it up a little bit more. So that's two tank mods for AM, which is nice. Ancillary current router for the fitting of the power grid, the processing processor overclocker unit for the CPU. And the subsystems are pretty much the same as the other one, although we do have a fuel catalyst instead of a chassis optimization. And that's just to give us the extra mid slot and we'll get one less low power slot for that. So basically we're We'll switch our application to a mids versus we lows and we rigs from the pimp uh, go. So it's pretty nice. And the assorted amount of ammo and stuff. So that's not too bad at all, really, is it? And you can see it's uh, tanging pretty fine here. As soon as we kill this Oracle. These seem to do, like, the biggest alpha to your tank. So maybe if you're, like, lower skilled or whatever, you can uh, try and focus those guys first. But yeah, pretty much business as usual for the Tengu, I think. Really, like, um coming up with the cheap fits and really you can go actually way cheaper if you really wanted to oh that's triggering me OCD there there you go yeah good good little fit uh, there's a bit of a discussion in the other vid as well about like the Loki and the, the Legion so all I just want to say they're all good but they've all got the, the pros and cons right so the Legion for example does good damage types for the Crimson Harvest sites where the Tetramon sites here, is this a Tet? So you can see they've all got um, like AM resistance where the Crimson sites they haven't. So maybe if you run in the Legion, you want to try and focus on that. And indeed the Loki as well for the AM damage. Because it does get a little bit more than the Tengu. 
and it uh, applies pretty well so you've got the long range webs and stuff like that and the, the innate bonuses so it's just it really just depends what you can fly but again ideally you want to be flying a marauder right for killing the last boss although it seems to be pretty quiet now the initial rush is uh, down we need to kill these oracles don't we because they're going to be smashing one not really fussed about the curse there we go kill these two now we're losing a bit like half a tank, but I think that's absolutely fine. Probably stable in this thing, so we're not really worried about getting neutered and things. Nice. You could, you could actually even drop the afterburner for more tank as well if you really wanted to. Yeah, and it's entirely up to you. As all as with all fits and Eve, you can always fit to your personal preference or playstyle or whatever you like. For me, it's mostly but like about the damage and stuff and I think we might tinker with a bit of a polarized Tengu for this to be honest soon. Oh well, my buddy Babble he's been running a polarized Kronos which is uh, pretty insane and when I did the math versus the Varga damage like at the boss spawn level it wasn't really like any more than the Varga was getting at like 15 to 20k so it's the only reason I wasn't really like jumping on the train for it straight away. Maybe if I had all the the pimp implants and everything which I, I have we'll see. I think it's a bit overkill, really. Nice. So, yeah, it's dealing with these frigates pretty nicely. Even with the, the T2 Ridge. Probably get, like, one or two less cycles with the, the Kaldari Navy stuff. Since it applies a bit better. In fact, why don't we try? Because we're hitting a reload here. So, let's go Kaldari Navy. And we'll see how much faster it kills these frigs. Because I would imagine, like, Three shots tops. Let's give it a look. There's the boss. Two. So four. Four for that. Right. So let's stick with the navy ammo for the boss. Not ideal, but it'll do. Save a reload. And the boss is pretty nice there. Eh? Love the Geddon hull. Smash him down. Hopefully we'll get a good drop for the vid as well. So what's his resistances? I think even in the crimson um, sites, the boss has got an AM resistance as well, so you might want to keep that in mind. But yeah, definitely check it out. I find that the Tetri sites, or the Tetramon sites are really good for the Tengu just because of the, the Scourge damage or the kinetic damage or whatnot. In fact, how much DPS are we actually doing right now? Let's have a look. So 711 with the Navy. So not too shabby, not too great, right? Or using Tech 2 Ballistics this time, so we've lost quite a lot of that. Yeah, it may be worth switching to the Rage to kill the battleship, to be honest. Never mind. This is what it is. We've got, ooh, shit, 284 mil. Damn, son. Uh, it's quite a lot. Holy mackerel. A Punisher skin. Oh, Purifier. Crazy money, that. Hopefully it'll be worth that when we sell it in Jitter. Might pay for some more mods for the Polarized Tango there. Okay, that was the run. I'll just, uh, I'll show you the fit real quick. Again, I'll link the correct one in the description this time. But yeah, there'll be more Crimson vids coming up. I've got, I've got the Vog I want to show, but it was pretty boring to be honest. It's like, just Marauders. I, I really don't like watching them all doing anything with them pretty much but uh just for the sake of obviously the vids because people have been asking for some marauder stuff we'll probably do the Varga and uh we'll recall the paladin one as well so yeah that's it guys thanks very much for watching the cheap goo coming in at uh oh it's well it's got that on i think it was like 420 mil or something 430 mil but yeah thanks again for watching guys and i will catch you in the next one